Creature Caster has done it again. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and in this video, we're going to unbox and take a look at the built versions of some of the latest releases from Creature Caster. They've got the Novik Dawn releases for uh, the Red Hoods, which it's just kind of wild in general, like the whole like concept of uh, just alternative miniatures just in general. And then, of course, uh, one of their bigger releases uh, from the late spring, and you probably might have seen this at Adepticon already. It's the Mechanantrix of Tyranny. It's a ginormous uh, alternative, almost like an Admech sort of demon prince thing. It's just wild. Jumping over to their site for a second, uh, creaturecaster.com, and of course they have Canadian versions, US versions, and an EU store, depending on where you want to order from. Um, you know, so you get your you, you get your quickest shipping and local currency and all that, and you don't have to worry about uh, any tricksy conversions and uh, you know overseas shipping. They still have some as of right now, but I know there isn't too many of these left because I talked to them recently. Uh, the limited edition alternative variant pose absolutely malice miniature which uh, you might have already seen in a video that we've done here and then here's the mechanantrix as well uh, this thing is it's just wild let's jump over to that oh, that right here <laughs> got a little ahead of ourselves so here it is 107.99 and this thing's ginormous uh, it unfortunately and the only piece of criticism I have for this it doesn't have like an alternative like armored chest sort of area um so it's basically like all this techno and then just bam organics and then you know bam back to techno so i kind of feel like maybe there should have been a little bit uh like a maybe an alternative a kind of um just armor plate or something on there but either way it's it's an amazing model i mean this thing is ginormous i mean it says here 176 millimeters it's on a 100 mil round base as it is so you can easily use it for any of the uh games workshop demon princes or if you just want something bigger or something just kind of wild out there uh to kind of put together and, and mess around with this might be it for you now they do have full um instructions when these things release they also have assembly videos over on their youtube channel that you can check out too and here it is um, so, you know, there's there's a lot of resources here for Creature Caster, which is, you know, kind of something that you don't see from a lot of companies. So they do put a lot of time and effort. And of course, and that's that's just what we see at the end. That doesn't even count the development, you know, all the community outreach that they do with the Resin Beast program and their, um, you know, all their Creature Caster like creator folks that they, you know, share stuff with and, you know, help supplement and give back to the community. So there, it, it's a really great company. Uh, in terms of like hobby interactions and things like that and um, just a good quality product all the way around and that's why I, uh, if you might remember our very first video of Creature Caster here was for the Kickstarter, which I had to drive like uh, two hours-ish each way to pick up the miniatures from a buddy of mine because they had just come in and I was like, yo, I gotta see these, you know, I wanna talk about them. And you know, the sky's pretty much been the limit uh, since then. And it's it's really cool to see for, for a company out there. But getting back to what we wanted to talk more about today, they also have, and they're not on their site because they haven't released yet. I believe they come out May 9th, which may or may not be, probably will be after this video comes out. But Novik Dawn is a uh, studio that puts out um, their untamed, uh, you know, uh, concept art and things. And uh, Creature Caster produces the miniatures for uh, this stuff right here, which is uh, pretty cool. And there's a bunch of these already that have wolves, they have hunters, and now we have the Red Hoods, which you know, Red Riding Hood and stuff. And there's a whole story and you can you can read about it over here on the, the uh, Novik Dawn, N-O-V-A-C, Dawn.com site. They have a whole cool story here. I read it, it's pretty pretty dope. They have a whole background and it, it's, it's just wild. And it's cool to see um, all this stuff kind of uh, just happen. Now, I don't know what the pricing is gonna be, but I think we could have some ideas uh, based on this right here. Um, for the current uh, releases that they already have out for this. Now, I didn't get any of this stuff, so this is actually the first of the um, uh, fairy tales, the Untamed Fairy Tales sort of series that they have here. But um, this has all sorts of concept art, and then they have the you know pictures of the miniatures right here. 
some more close-ups, which I'm, I'm going to show you the miniatures um, before and after assembly here as well. So, you know, not only Creature Caster, but they also partner with a lot of folks that do, you know, the, the in-depth, the, the pre-production, the, the, and then, you know, like Creature, Creature Caster handle their production. And it's it's really cool to see just the how they handle all this stuff for all these different elements uh, of things that they're producing now, you know, that they've grown so much in the past, uh, you know, eight-ish uh, years or so there. So I'll only do this for uh, this particular one right here, but just so you're aware, if you've never seen Creature Caster, this is your, your first time checking them out. Um, all their products are gonna come in these dope branded boxes. They're gonna come in bubble bags. Sometimes they'll be bigger chunks of products, like sometimes they leave the bases and stuff out um, on top because you know they can't damage anything. But this time they both came in little bubble bags here. And like I showed you on the product page, everything is gonna be numbered and you're able to actually inventory them before you get started. Now, I only pulled out the first bag of bits because uh, I, I think you can tell the detail from this. And also, there's something I wanted to touch on that in all my years of hobby, and I've never seen this before, ever, ever, ever in the history of ever. And that just kind of really uh, kind of harks, harkens back or, you know, um, touches back to the just that they're always innovating something new and they're always trying new things and they're always just keeping it real, which I, I really like about them. Now, I don't know if we can get in here because I'm looking across. Um, a, a large uh, open space. Yeah, I can see it in there. Okay, so um, you see that little dot right there? That's actually a placement for you to use a pin vise and drill out uh, to pin this miniature. So I don't know what piece this goes to right off the top of my head, but I imagine it's not that one because that one has three little pin holes on it. So what they recommend is using um, some pins and even in the torso right here, they have also pinholes right there. And I think that's just wild. Like, you know, sometimes you have to, you, you have to pin one side and then use a little Sharpie marker and get a good dot and then kind of put it into where it's gonna go. So you get the placement over here and you know where to, dry, uh, to drill out. But not with, not with this stuff here, it's just ready to go. Already got the little dot right there for you to drill it out and kind of do your thing, which is just wild. Also, you can, let's see if we, there we go. You can tell how detailed this stuff is. I mean, look at all those cables and all those detail. It's just crazy in there how they're able to do something like this, um, make it look so busy, but it's not necessarily very busy in here because you can hit that with a wash or like, you know, some contrast, some speed paint, whatever, whatever brand you like right there and just really make it pop and glow and or just make it all metal and rust it up. The, the sky's pretty much the limit and they give you all this like this is basically a blank resin canvas in my mind right like it's just wild how they understand all the properties and the, everything from like building the miniatures to actually painting the miniatures it's it's just wild to have there really isn't any other company out there on this scale that i can think of besides potentially maybe games workshop now one other thing i wanted to talk to you about real quick was as far as detail, obviously they're not as big as Games Workshop. We know that. Games Workshop is is big in this space, but overall, as a business goes, Games Workshop is shockingly small. Um, and it's not really super visible on these, but I do want to talk about it. You see these uh, fill-in areas here. These are called shims, and these, of course, are gates. So what you need to do if you get a very small part, obviously these you can just clip. But if you have a small tender part that you're worried about um, potentially breaking, just use a little bit of blue tack get in there and use your clips. And once you put the blue tack in place, it'll create a stability for that part, right? And then you can just snip it and you don't have to worry about it shattering uh, when you clip it right there. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're ever working with smaller stuff or, or alternate or other miniatures just in general. But I mean, from the base to, and they even have the uh, logo on the bottom of that. I mean, the detail is just amazing. So we're gonna take a look at the assembled version next and kind of talk about that a bit and then jump over to the, uh, the Red Hoods. This model is, it's pretty cool. It's like, uh, well, I already, I already broke the, uh, you can see I broke the, the tip of the spear off right there already. And I uh, just kind of glued it on very haphazardly because I wanted to make this video to be quite honest with you. Um, so yeah, yours shouldn't look like that. But uh, just before somebody called it out, I just wanted to bring your attention to it. And now it's gonna be the only thing you can see here. So this um, mini, you can actually magnetize it in the middle here if you want, um, using those little points I showed you like that they have on here. But, um, and of course you can't see it, but this is actually pinned at the joints here, just like in those little spots that I showed you. 
um, which it works it works great now as far as the miniature itself I'll zoom in on that because I think the lights a little hot if I start getting up towards there I need to get some new LED lights so here we go now you can see this a little bit better uh, the detail is just incredible once you get this together and you can kind of see all the or uh, the organic mixed with uh, the techno kind of parts here now you know I don't think this is obnoxious or anything like it's just it's just very different but it would allow for a lot of different color combinations and things i feel like too so while there isn't an alternative piece here for this front or there's this chest area you know i'm not i'm not like taking it back or anything you know art is art as far as that goes um, but you could always convert something if you really wanted to or felt like it was necessary all the little uh, tubes and everything i actually um <laughs> i uh, i think i snapped one of these off and i could not no, I got it back on there, I think. I don't remember either way. It might be missing one of the tubes. But uh, but overall, you know, it's it looks very busy and hard uh, to kind of deal with. But for the most part, the instructions are good and it's easy to just kind of glue them all in. The big thing is position the arms first. And once you do that dry fit, you know, before you glue them in, kind of dry fit the, the little tubes and that'll give you a little bit extra support. And you'll be able to kind of figure out where they go. But if you're looking at the... Um, all the pictures and things that are online you should be able to figure it out pretty good as far as that goes now size wise like i said it's on a 100 mil base and once you get the bottom together there there's you know it's it's a significantly large model and that's why maybe you would want to magnetize it in the middle i suppose um but you don't don't feel like you have to or anything i mean if you got room to transport this around i just haphazardly broke off the spear right there but the detail on it's just wild i mean uh, there's so much opportunity here to do so much with the palette from the, the metal colors to, you know, some some ribbony colors um, to some flesh colors or, you know, you could even go dark or, or light flesh, whatever you want right there. Um, and it looks like I just popped one of those out. So <laughs> just got to be very careful handling this thing. Um, let's get a size comparison to Angron just to give you an idea of exactly how big this thing really is. So here's a little bit better of a look. Now they are on the same size base, so you can definitely get a better idea. And remember, this Angron's a little short. He's a little kind of uh, scooched or, or uh, slouched, I guess, so to speak. So she is actually about the size of, of um, Magnus, uh, just doing his Magnus thing, almost a very similar pose, to be quite honest. So like I said, you could do a, a whole lot of different stuff with her or do, you know, a whole different bunch of comps as uh, miniatures or, you know, things. Or if you just want something, you know, different and but yet still kind of techno-y, um, grim darky even, you know, this might be the miniature for you. And next up is the Red Hoods models. And we'll just kick it off with uh, Red Riding uh, right here right off the bat and this material is actually the co cast it isn't the um you know un unfilled uh, you know pure resin that they use um i think they use the same resin as forge world i i knew uh, what resin forge world uses and i believe it's the same as what they use but either way you know they always put out a good quality product co cast is a great quality product as well and really allows you to do a lot of crazy stuff like this that you wouldn't normally be able to do and this stuff is actually very um secure and very stable so this is on roughly a 50 mil base i believe yeah it's gonna go i'm gonna go with 50 mil base and i'll grab a um something to compare it to here in a second as we take a look at the rest of the miniatures the rest of the minis are look to be on 32 mil bases actually there's an easy way to find out because i have a marine right here so yes they are on 32 millimeter bases and like i said uh co cast is a great great product um or a great material to make products with because you can really pull off a lot of uh, this kind of detail and have something very sturdy like these swords and stuff and pliable so you don't actually bump it and you know something happens uh, from all that like that material is is it's just pretty wild because I mean you've got some very small pieces in here that are sh shockingly sturdy and then you know when you compare this to this this is something on the level of like a character model or something um you know from games workshop and they have a lot more miniatures um there's a whole bunch of them in this gang and you can definitely get these very soon if not right now over on the creature caster website uh, i personally like uh, this one right here i think is uh very similar to the art although the uh the they're basically the same miniature you just kind of don't realize it because one's on the uh, this uh, 
pedestal sort of artwork uh, thing. And uh, this one isn't, but it's got the little uh, little flames in the front there. So I really dig that. So there's, I mean, there's, there's some really cool stuff. And I can't, uh, you know, we didn't get the first runs of these, but these miniatures are really cool and will work great for like different war bands and things, or, you know, just anything out there. Um, that you're really just kind of looking to do. Now this right here sometimes happens and that's why they sent an extra one. So CEOcast isn't infallible, but you know, just as an example of some of the things that you might find, um, it doesn't happen very often, but, and usually you catch that in uh, in pre-production right there. But that's that's about the biggest error I've ever seen uh, with CEOcast. But you know, like I said, um, usually that stuff gets caught uh, very quickly. Like I said, uh, you know, I think this, this, these offerings from Creature Castle, they've really knocked it out of the park. Um, just always pushing the envelope, always doing new things, always being innovative. And I can't say enough good things about them as a company, you know, and I, and they have stuff at all sorts of price points. So go over there and check them out, you know, and they're doing good things for their partners, you know, Novik Dawn, and, you know, they're doing good things for the community too. And we love to see that in the tabletop hobby and tabletop uh, war gaming space, because I don't feel like there's enough uh, companies out there uh, like them, you know, they have they have multiple numbers of staff and they're you know they they really got it going on over there and you know i think they're one of the, the better companies out there so make sure you check them out they're over at creaturecaster.com and thank you for watching our unboxing and you know taking a look at these uh, built miniatures from them as well if you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here, as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep, whether you cancel or stay on. Just, it's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spikybits.